Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, it's going to be sort of an unboxing, or at least I wanted to share this with you. So one of the things I've done is I've gone out on eBay and I've picked up one of these um, uh, third-party batteries. And what I have here is my existing, the battery that came with the Phantom, and the new battery. So kind of wanted to share this with you. I picked it up from uh, Power Extra. Phantom 3 replacement intelligent flight battery. Now the interesting thing is when I got it out of the box they had also included uh, what looks to be um, a uh, lens shade for the camera which is rather interesting because it looks like it's got little fingers that lock on it, four of them. So I'll be looking at this a little bit later but I thought that was kind of nice they threw this in. Now this battery was about $60 uh, USD and um, kind of looks about the same. Now one of the things I, I wanted to do uh, that I think would be a little bit interesting is let's let's weigh the two. Because um, I haven't flown yet with this battery. I have charged it. Did take a charge very nice just like the uh, standard Phantom battery. Um, and here I'm actually let's turn them both on. Now the let's get them both this way so you can maybe see them and what I want to do is press the buttons so you can see the Phantom has a little bit brighter LEDs than the um, third party so let's do uh, measurement so this the stock Phantom battery is about 257 258 grams and the clone battery is about 270 so it's actually a little bit heavier, 270 versus 268. So this is about two grams heavier. Now the reason I did that is I'm kind of interested, uh, or I was interested if maybe they had shortchanged some of the cells. It does feel rather beefy. I was expecting, you know, maybe it would be a little bit lighter. Now the uh, batteries are, if I can find it here. Uh, are the same because this is 4,480 uh, 4, milliamp per hour. This is 4,408 milliamp per hour, so same. 15.2, 15.2. Operating temperature is 0 to 40 C. 0 to 40 C on here. They could have just, you know, duplicated them. The, uh, move the scale out of the way a little bit. The, the connectors, as you can see, are the same. Make sure I get it in here on the camera. So both for the um, uh, you know onboard smart controller as well as the connections. Uh, if anything, the um, the pin configurations for the knockoff or clone battery seem to be um, a little bit more proud than the ones in the actual stock. Uh, I don't know if you can see that in there. I'll see if I can zoom up in on that. Let me take the scale away for a second. Uh, so, because the stock battery, I think I was looking at, was running about a hundred, and you know this one was again uh, probably about forty dollars cheaper, and I think the shipping was free. I'll have the link down below for this where I got this from on eBay. Uh, I put it in the copter; everything seems to work. It fits, so powers up the copter no problem. One of the things I have though read in the forms is uh, these might have a little bit shorter flight time. So as I test it out, I'll let you guys know in, in the videos that I do while I fly, you know, which battery I'm using. So also just um, the reason for the blue tape here is one of the things I do is place my FAA number on the battery. Now uh, under the FAA rules it says you can put it in the battery compartment so I consider this obviously the battery compartment since, since it doesn't require tools. But one of the things is I don't want to share this with you guys what the um, number is. Now I, I noticed this and I share this as sort of an, a little bit of an ancillary tip. Um, I see a lot of people put this on the outside of their quad then show it on YouTube videos. And I don't think that's a wise move because, you know, number one, I think um, you run the risk of somebody scamming that number, putting it on their quad, and going doing some nefarious act, and you're going to have to explain why your number's on that drone. And so while you may be able to explain your way out of it, it's going to take some time out of your life to do that. So my two cents is don't share your number. Keep your number to yourself. And... Uh, I think a word to the wise. Uh, anyways, um, back to the batteries. 
uh, again, so I'll let you guys know how these perform. I really like the fact they threw in a little bit of extra. Now, it did come with a couple little books. One's a thank you that tells you how to leave uh, positive feedback on Amazon. I didn't buy this on Amazon, so you might be able to get it on Amazon, too. I'll take a look, and if that's the case, I'll add a link for that also. But then it does have a user manual. Everything in here is pretty straightforward. Most of it is multilingual. Uh, France, Spanish, Mandarin, blah, blah, blah. So nothing really too big here, but uh, the way I'm looking at this is, is I only bought one because I want to give it a try to see if I like it. I figure, you know, 60 bucks is, is worth the risk because you can almost get two for the price of one actual battery. And if it's, you know, three quarters or 80 to 90 percent the flight time of the original, I, I'll actually be happy with it at that discounted price because I don't typically fly to the end of the battery every time. You know, so if you're a real hardcore flyer like, you know, Peter, not the ordinary guy over at uh, Nevermind Your Own, well, that might be a little bit different story. But I think for me and most of the flying I do, this will probably work good in, in being able to get a couple more, uh, I think, will be advantageous. Uh, so anyways, uh, by the time you see this, I've probably flown this a couple times. So if you got questions, hit me up below. If not, the um, subscribe button is going to be coming up over there. Don't forget to subscribe so you keep updated on all these videos. Uh, and hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.